have you ever felt like? You needed a break from your sedentary lifestyle? Or wanting to act like your favorite explorers? Well then, we've got the right places for you. So come visit the tropical dry forest and the temperate grassland. We want you to enjoy these amazing areas, starting with the tropical dry forest. The tropical dry forest biome is located in many awesome areas in the world, including Mexico, India, and Madagascar. The tropical dry forest climate is ideal, with an average temperature of about 65 degrees Fahrenheit and a precipitation rate of about 40 to 100 inches per year. Soil condition in this biome is pretty fertile. Although the organic layer is considered shallow, the soil receives a lot of rainfall. Therefore, there is an abundance of aluminum and iron oxides. Now, let's take a look at this biome's flora and fauna. The tropical dry forest is home to many plants, including the Indio desnudo tree, the Akasha tree, the sacred lotus, and the columnar cactus. Now let's look at the tropical dry forest's animals. There are many sorts such as Bengal tiger, the Asian elephant, and the cupre. Now let's look at the temperate grassland. Temperate grasslands are known for their beautiful colors and are You can find this biome all around the world, such as the US, Canada, Chile, and Australia. For the climate, the temperature extremes are wider than anywhere else on Earth. During the summer, temperatures can reach over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, while winters can be as cold as negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Rainfall is moderate and seasonal, raining about 10 to 35 inches per year. Most temperate grasslands are inland, so it can get quite windy. If you enjoy the breeze, it will be a great choice to come here. Temperate grasslands have the world's most fertile soils. The soil is soft and rich with nutrients because of the long roots of the plants. These long roots dig deep and anchor the plants. Speaking of things to look out for, there are some seasonal droughts and occasional fires to be careful of. Now let's talk about the temperate grasslands flora and fauna. The dominant flora of the temperate grassland are grasses and wildflowers. Some of the grasses and wildflowers are the buffalo grass, the purple needle grass, asters, and wild indigo. The temperate grassland has a great variety of dominant fauna such as coyotes, weasels, prairie dogs, eagles, and grasshoppers. The black-footed ferret from the temperate grassland is a great example of how animals have adapted to their biome. Here's why. If you don't really understand what I'm saying, take a look at this food web. It's actually very important to a biome. Say the whole squirrel population from trophic level 2 dies off. This would cause the animals from trophic level 3 and 4 to lose one of their food sources. They would have to devour the other trophic level 2 species, causing them to die off too because they didn't have enough time to reproduce. Animals from trophic level 3 and 4 would run out of food and who knows what would happen next. Lastly, this Venn diagram shows the similarities and difference between the tropical dry forest and the temperate grassland. This concludes our video brochure. We hope this convinces you to come to at least one of these biomes. Yay!